Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome along to our webinar. Today, we're going to be focusing on the Dynamics 365 modules that form part of the Dynamics 365 suite. We've recently had a couple of additions with Dynamics 365 for marketing and also Dynamics 365 Business Central. So today what we're going to focus on is a high level overview of what is included in the individual modules, so in terms of features and functions, etc. Uh, and then we're also going to cover the different license prices, license SKUs, and trying to identify the best license mixes uh, for, for certain clients as well. So today we're going to be going through the agenda as you can see in front of you which is the introduction to the core modules of Dynamics, so sales, service and the new marketing. We'll also cover off at a high level field service, project service and business central uh, and also just at a high level the, the portal um, license that you now get as part of a customer engagement plan as well. We'll also go through the license prices, the license SKUs, and also we'll have some time at the end for a Q&A. So, we'll start off at a high level going through the modules. The first module we're going to focus on, probably the most popular uh, of Dynamics 365, which is Dynamics 365 for sales. The key part here is supporting those sales people within the organization, um, enabling you to win your business faster and essentially grow your business off the back of those customer wins as well. So every single module will include your accounts and your contacts entities uh, and also obviously reporting. Uh, but what we're going to focus on is the sort of additional things that you get uh, as part of each module as well. So. As you can see for sales, uh, we've got leads, we've got opportunities, we also have competitor analysis as well. Uh, there is also a number of integrations available, so things like LinkedIn uh, and also as part of any Dynamics module you have the ability to offer a third party uh, integration as well. There is a full product catalogue as part of Dynamics um, which then enables the user to create quotes, orders and invoices as well should they wish to. And this is often where you'd have a third party integration either into Business Central now uh, or, or another um, financial provider, financial piece of software. And you can see they also have sales literature. So this is for managing all of your brochures and customer facing materials. And then finally, just some light marketing functions as well with our quick campaigns and our marketing lists as well. So the ability to create criteria based marketing lists uh, and then if you'd like to run quick campaigns. Again, a lot of clients now uh, either using Dynamics 365 for marketing or something like Clip Dimensions as a, a third party add on there. Service. So I've highlighted in front of you the service module. The main area here is to empower your customer service agents and earn your customer loyalty as well. So a few of the key functions out of service is, of course, customer service cases or tickets, which is down the left hand side. And then off the back of that, essentially what you'll be doing is queuing potentially so you can create yourself customer service queues where tickets will either automatically filter into or you can manually create those as well. And then to carry out the fixes or manage those customer service cases is the customer service calendar. And again, there's some further management around your entitlements and contracts. These basically enable you to meet things like SLAs. Um, or in, empower certain support contracts. So if you have different levels of your support contracts, then you're able to essentially let the system manage that for you in terms of number of tickets, time taken, uh, or as you can see, they're actually the products uh, that you may be, uh, may be able to service. Final piece is the articles. One of the, the newer uh, functions inside of Dynamics, certainly using it a lot of Cloud9, is the knowledge base articles. We'll come on to portals in a short while, but these are customer facing or actually internal uh, pieces of material which can perhaps help you to solve a query that's often asked uh, or some, some of these common issues that you may be seeing. So as I said, either custom, uh, customer facing or actually internal pieces of material that might help the uh, customer service agent. Marketing, so we've highlighted here the click dimensions, um, marketing, we've got email marketing, campaign automation, web forms, reporting, uh, social media, as well as web intelligence, 
uh, lead scoring surveys and landing pages. So as I said, we do have a new uh, Microsoft Dynamics 365 for marketing app. Uh, certainly in the previous stages at the moment, uh, if you'd like to get in touch to find more information about that, then you can give us a call. Field service. So field and project service are, are two modules, again, reasonably new to the uh, dynamic suite. They do work in conjunction together, although they can actually be purchased separately as well. The key part about field service is that you're uh, optimizing your scheduling and working with usually a mobile workforce. So this is a perfect extension of customer service. It might be that you need to actually send engineers out, uh, track inventory, uh, track other materials that you may have internally, and then using the very interactive and clever schedule board, uh, you're able to see what's coming up, what's next on the horizon, uh, and then slot the additional jobs into the field service engineer's diary, which they can obviously access on their phone as well. Project service, again, so a little bit similar to field service. Really, the main difference here is that uh, the, the project service is an extension of Microsoft Project. So the idea is that you're managing a long-term project with multiple resources, multiple project work streams, and all of the time, expenses, customer billing uh, on top of that. So still very much a resource management tool, uh, but really designed for those longer projects with multiple resources and multiple work streams as well. We have the portals, so as part of a customer engagement plan, uh, you actually include a, a fully hosted portal by Microsoft. Really the, the main areas here are certainly customer engagement uh, and customer self-service or self-help. So enabling your clients to either log in and see where, where you're at with customer service tickets or actually what we're starting to work on is a, almost a project nest so people can understand where they currently are in the project, upcoming milestones, what's required from them. It can also be used for internal uh, employee engagement as well. So some clients working with the portals to actually extend the capability of Microsoft Dynamics, perhaps uh, update the user interface or make it even more streamlined if they would like to. And this can all be built around a custom framework. So there's the modules. Uh, we then wanted to talk about the licenses and the new license costs that are available as of the 2nd of April this year. So there's really a, a number of different ways of purchasing the licenses. The first one is that you can purchase each individual app as what's called an enterprise application. And those cover your sales, your service, field service, project service, etc. And those can be purchased for £71.60 per user per month. You can then also undertake what's called a customer engagement plan. As you can see here, this actually includes all of the applications, so sales, customer service, field service, project service. Also includes your ability to utilize the marketing. Um, and again, please contact us around the marketing um, pricing and marketing function. You also then get social engagements and also access to Power Apps as well. So uh, you see the cost there is £86.70. And then the team member functionality, so these have been increasingly popular, they're designed for light users, uh, they have heavily limited functionality, uh, but it does give you access to data across all the modules that the organisation undertakes, and those are £6 per user per month. So there are also some SMB focused applications, uh, the first one is the Dynamics 365 Sales Professional. In terms of functionality, it is reasonably similar to the enterprise level solution. However, the configurations that you or a preferred partner are able to undertake is actually limited. So you're limited to the amount of custom entities, custom workflows, etc. And again, Cloud9 can help you to understand which would be the best license there for you. And then Business Central. So Business Central, there is an SMB focused application called the Essential. Business Central, and the main difference there is it, it doesn't include service management uh, and also manufacturing and supply chain. So again, if you want to hear more about Business Central, keep a look out. We're going to be running an introductory webinar soon over the next sort of six to eight weeks or so. Uh, and if you want some immediate questions, please feel free to get in touch and we'll be delighted to answer those. So there are also some other 
365 applications or modules that we haven't spoken about today, uh, finance and operations, which some of you may formally know as, as AX, uh, so it's now the cloud-based version really of, of, of AX, uh, so an enterprise ERP solution. Uh, Dynamics 365 Retail and Dynamics 365 Talent, these are perhaps the two newest modules um, and we're starting to work with clients around understanding the capabilities and you know, limitations and how that potentially fit in their organisation. So again, if you have questions around these apps, please feel free to contact us and we can go into more detail on a one-to-one -one, uh, on one -one call. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time this afternoon. My contact details are in front of you, so if you want to find out more about any of the modules, any of the license SKUs or license pricing, or perhaps some of the newer apps, Business Central, Talent or Marketing, feel free to reach out on any of the contact details you see in front of you and look forward to welcoming you on the next webinar.